Now, I want to drop down verse 20. You go through this section. I will again and again. Here it is. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God unto them, Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat cattle, between the lean cattle. God says, I'll separate the sheep and the goat. You remember the Lord Jesus gave a parable? It says, An enemy came in, sowed tares. Then his servant says, well, let's go pull up the tires. He said, you let them alone. Both grow together. I'll do the separating. And I'm sure glad that's his job today. He's the one. Somebody comes to me, says, you think so-and-so is safe. I don't know. <laughs> that's not my business. That's his business, not mine. He knows those that are his. He says he does. Now, verse 22, therefore will I save my flock. They shall no more be a prey, and I will judge between cattle and cattle. I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, even my servant David. <laughs> he shall feed them. I'm not going into this at this particular point, but it's my firm conviction that David will rule here on this earth. I think throughout eternity, be the king over this earth. And he'll be the vicegerent of the Lord Jesus. We're told in the church that where I am, ye may be also. Now, I think he'll be in the new Jerusalem. We'll be with him there. Now, if he comes to this earth, we're coming also, but just for a visit. So don't buy real estate, too much of it down here. You won't be needing it. Be sure you are sending up plenty of material to build your good home over there. Now, will you notice verse 24? And I, the Lord will be their God, and my servant David, a prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. Now, my friend, either you believe it or you don't believe it. Either this is the word of God, it's not. If it is, he's not through with the nation Israel. Now, verse 25, And I will make with them a covenant of peace, and I'll cause the evil beast to cease from among the land. You see, it's quite interesting here that the land and the people go together. And when they are in that land being blessed, then the people are in right relationship to God. Verse 28, And they shall no more be a prey to the nations. They are today. Neither shall the beast of the land devour them, but they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. Why? Because God says, I will. And when he says, I will, he's going to do it. 